Hello, sixth grade. Miss Kirkwood here. Yes, I'm in the art room, but I'm currently also in the English classroom. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about how you are going to add the beautiful prose that you've been writing in English to the beautiful leaves that you made in the art room to complete this IDU. We want you to make that connection with all of these disciplines. So I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to do that and then how we're going to incorporate all of this into our tree. Now remember, this is a collective art project, so we don't own any leaf. So whichever leaf your English teacher hands to you is the leaf that you're going to put your prose on top of. It doesn't matter because we've all worked on this. Some One person may have cut the design, one person may have put on the pattern. So a third person can put on the prose because we want to remember that it takes all of us to create impact in the rainforest. So the supply that we're going to use, everybody's going to use a white paint pen just so that there's some congruency to bring our tree all together with our writing. We are going to use a white paint pen and I'm going to show you how to use this in, the more, um, in a moment. But I want you, if it's new, go ahead and take the plastic off, keep the cap on, and you're gonna give it a shake. You can hear a ball in there, just like spray paint, stirring up the alcohol and um, paint, which makes these a quick dry pen. Paper, and notice that the tip does not yet have ink in it. You're gonna gently press down on the tip until your paint starts to flow from your pen. If, while you're writing at all, the paint starts to run out, just give it a gentle press on your scratch sheet of paper. You don't want to do that on your leaf before you start writing again. Always remember to put the cap on when you're not using it. You may wonder how we're going to fit the pros on such interesting patterns. But if you see here, I've started with mine weaving through the pattern. I'm going to demonstrate that for you in just a moment, how that might work. But yours may look totally different based on what the pattern looks like. I do want to point out that the difference between the two pens your English teachers have, I recommend you use, most people will need to use the clear um, pen to write. It's a bit more of a fine pointed pen that will allow you to dictate your letters much better. And you might only use the fat pen um, to add some details just to tie it together if you need to. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you. So as you can see, I've started to write my prose here on this leaf. Um, and she, I'm letting my letters just simply flow through where I feel it will look nice in the pattern. And if I need to change directions, I can. But let's say I had my same prose on a leaf that looked like this. That might look totally different. I might start here the shuffling of the other. and you get the idea. I might continue across here and back around or I might choose to only do things in sections and bounce around or in a leaf like this maybe I try to put a word in each tiny section or maybe in this, I do want to suggest that if you have a leaf that's fully covered in art pastel, in oil pastel, excuse me, um, if there's not another one available that you could write in between, you could do it on the back and make a secret message, or in most cases, it will write over the oil pastel. So you have many options, but basically, you want to make sure that as you're adding your text, that it goes with the flow or around the patterns that are already on your leaf. Lastly, if there is time, you can grab the larger of the paint pens and only where it would enhance, adding to the pattern to tie some of the white so that there's balance. So there's not just white in the text, but white, the kind of stark whiteness of the paint pen can come in and be a part of the pattern, creating that idea of balance.